Hey guys, and thank you for watching. Today I'm here with a first impressions video. I have not done a first impression or a review in a really long time, I feel like, but I have been hearing a lot of talk about the new Colossal Spider Effect Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline, and so I'm really interested to try it out. Just yesterday or the day before, I was watching her name is Mallory. I'll link her YouTube channel down below. I know she's got like her Mal Pals. Um, but she did a first impression and a mini review on this mascara and she loved it and I felt like it might be something that I would enjoy. So I thought I'd pick it up and try it out on camera for the first time. Now I have not curled my lashes or anything because I feel like I want to see how this does on its own first. So I'm just going to open it up and we're going to apply it for the first time together. I got my mascara at HEB, which is a grocery store in Texas. I should have saved the receipt. I don't recall how much I paid for it, but I will list that down below on the screen somewhere so that you can see um, how much I paid for it. But this is what it looks like. Spiders creep me out, but I mean, if it can give me spider lashes. I also got mine in the shade Glam Black. They have like, I want to say like Classic Black or, I don't know, I want a Glam Black, okay? I want it to be Glam. Okay, so this wand is very interesting. There's a completely flat part right here. I don't know if you can see that. And then spikes all around it. So I'm going to take this spiky side. Um, and just run that on my lashes. Now I feel like I have pretty good length on my natural lashes. So I'm usually looking for more volume. Now on first impression, I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to love this because it feels like my lashes are literally chunking together. Now, I like a little bit of chunk, I'm not gonna lie. I like a little bit of chunk, but like, okay, here we go. I need some separation too. Now when I take the flat end, so what I did was I put some on with like the pointy tip part, and then I took the flat end and just kind of rolled my brush around the flat end to try and get some separation. But I'm not gonna lie, I keep trying to separate, and I don't know if you can see, but like I just have a huge chunk right here. Legit a chunk, literally. Um, I feel like I'm just making it worse. Okay, I'm totally making it worse, so. Let's try the bottom lashes. Okay, the bottom lashes work fine, but like, I got some chunking going on over here. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't have a viewfinder or anything, so I hope that you guys can see. This is the side with the mascara, and this is the side without. They definitely are like clumpy. Now normally I like a little bit of clump, but in this case like I have some huge chunks here. So I'm actually going to try to grab a different mascara and see if I can like separate it a little bit. Let me grab that. Okay, I have a sample of the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte that I got in one of my subscription boxes. And I don't really use this mascara because I feel like it doesn't do much for me. But I'm going to see if I can use the wand to separate a little bit. Okay. We got some separation here. Alright, so now that I was able to separate it, <clears throat> you can see my eyelash here. 
and I think I like it better. Like it looks more thick, more voluminous. You can definitely tell I have mascara on, but I think I just need to go in on my left side with like a lighter hand and not so much pressure. I think uh, we kind of went hot and heavy and loaded up with a little bit too much mascara the first time around. Now, <clears throat> I'm a little nervous because I'm right-handed and I always have, and I, I don't know when this started, but I always only do mascara with my left hand. Like, I can't do anything with my left hand, but I always apply mascara. So I'm like a little nervous. I'm trying to brush off like excess product. I'm nervous we're gonna have like Chunk City over here. Let's try it out. Here's my right side where I went in first with the spider lash and then my tart to break it up. You can see that it's more separated and full on this side, whereas on my left side, I literally have like one, two, three strands of lashes in this one area. And it's just really hard to separate with this wand. I feel like I will maybe get better separation like once I have less product. I hope I'm like still in the frame. It's hard to do my bottom lashes with my left hand. Like not normally just with this specific mascara it is. So we're just going to have to call that a day and I'm going to go in again with my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes on the left side and see if I can break it up a little bit and I'll probably go over like my bottom lashes again. And I'm just using like light pressure and trying to like twist it apart. I'm not really trying to add more product. I just want to break it apart, you know? It's like so clumpy. So these are the lashes. These are what they're looking like. I do like them once I was able to break them up with a different mascara. I do like that it's very voluminous. I have not tried like the fiber mascaras that they have out. Um, but I do like my lashes to look like a little chunky and full and voluminous. And I feel like the Colossal Spider Effect Mascara did that. Um, but it was almost like a little too chunky for me in the beginning. I feel like this is a mascara where I'm going to have to use it and follow up with, I don't have um, like one of those combs for your eyelashes, but I will either need to follow it up with a comb or another mascara wand just to separate it a little bit. But like once it's separated, I really like it. I think it looks really nice. I think that it looks natural, but like it's giving me the appearance of false lashes without actually having falsies on. Um, and I feel like I just, I really enjoy it. Again, I can't use it on its own, but yeah, when I like break them apart a little bit, I really do like it. So that's it. That was my first impression of the Colossal Spider Effect Mascara. I'm interested to see how it washes off. I might try to film a little clip tomorrow and like let you know how the 
washing off process was, but I'm definitely going to keep using it more. I want to see maybe um, after I've used it for a couple weeks and it's not so thick, it might even go on a little bit easier. But for now, I am going to use it in combination with another mascara wand to break it apart, but I do like it. And so, I mean, if you're into a little bit more chunky lashes, I would say check it out. If you don't have time for clumps in your life and like you don't, you're not into like chunky, you would not like this. Like, don't try it then. But if you do like a little clump, like myself, I would say give it a go. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.